Hi everybody. Uh, this is Carney Art. I'm subscribed to him, and he happened to have a video. If you want to go over and see that video, it's uh, titled "BP Golf: A Mutated Colonized uh, Bacteria." Is it a problem? Uh, the reason that uh, this had uh, caught my interest is because uh, I had. Uh, I uh, lower the volume on this. That uh, I had uh, a couple of videos uh, in regards to this situation about what's going on and what they were trying to do uh, down there in the Gulf. That they had dumped this uh, synthetic bacteria called Cynthia into the Gulf with this Corexit, and now it's causing problems. This is one of the problems that's being caused. Uh, in different states right now and uh, uh, he gave links to uh, these websites of uh, naturalnews.com and um, this is a really good website uh, you, uh, you can check this out I'll provide the link to this also um, uh, one I wanted to say was like well the guy who invented Cynthia was uh, Craig Venter. Um, where did I see? That? Okay, J. Craig Venter. He's the founder of Synthetic uh, Genomics Incorporated, and uh, he admitted before the U.S. House of Representatives Committee on Energy and Commerce that such synthetic bacteria are simply created uh, de novo by chemical synthesis and assembled into entire chromosomes and organisms. Kind of scary, huh, out of science fiction? Uh, he went on to add that the technology can catalyze a major change in what organisms can be engineered to do. And um, I have a, a video on him uh, if you, uh, when you go see it, you can see this guy, you know, when you look in his eyes, it's like there's nothing there. And you think that he's a, a Dr. Frankenstein, uh, creating this kind of bacteria and releasing it into our environment? Well, I don't know. And it goes on to say that the uh, ge gen genetically modified bacteria is now replicating and spawning all sorts of mutated bacteria throughout the Gulf, and I think there's more to it than that, um, because I, um, well, I had this dream, and I think it's more than, than just bacteria down there, but that's just my thought, um, I think there's just a lot of things that are going on that needs to be explained right now, and, uh, I know uh, that, um, to, there's a, also a video I'm going to upload too that this uh, guy did and uh, some evidence that he found what was happening in Joplin, Missouri and about these strange fungus that had broke loose there in that town after the, remember the devastating tornado that hit uh, Joplin and destroyed that town and it killed over a hundred people well uh, now the uh, government has set up a secret morgue um, and they won't tell the family members uh, where this morgue is and why they're not allowing the uh, families to go claim their dead. It, it's just terrible. There's, it's just, I call it bio welfare and we're being attacked by our government. And uh, well, getting back to the uh, the Cynthia, these genetically modified uh, oil-eating bacteria uh, that's creating the danger there in the Gulf. Um, there's a, a similar. Uh, this is a similar um, uh, site where it mentions the same thing. Tells about Greg Pinter and uh, uh, Mike. Uh, Etzler, you 
T-S-L-E-R. He's the Chief Operating Officer of BP's Gulf Coast Restoration, and he told uh, BBC reporters uh, that there is a new form of microbiology that is attacking this oil plume and using it as, an, uh, as a food source. And I'm sure it's more than just oil. Shortly after meeting this on camera, another BP official abruptly interjected and, enter, entered, and ended the uh, interview. And it says that you can view this on YouTube. And uh, this, see, there's a link. But anyway, I'll provide that link to this article. Uh, but I also wanted to add, too, in relation to this, uh, an article that I found here on Alternative News Report. And uh, there's like a few mentions here uh, well, in regards to what had happened in the Gulf. But uh, to add to this, especially what... Uh, FEMA is doing. Uh, all of this is going is tying in. So, uh, and what it's this is in regards to. Okay, let me let me read it here. Okay, the title of this is White House talks about a 9.0 earthquake in the USA. Okay, and this is in regard to FEMA's Operation uh, Solid Curtain, 2011. Uh, so they're they're coming out with this people they're they're doing this in you know in front of your face and you've got to take some action of some sort or they're going to bring us down um, I mean we have rights we have a right to live I mean I wouldn't allow a renegade government to do us this way it's just not right well, anyway, it says, are we, are we prepared for a man-made harp weather modification uh, induced uh, catastrophic 9.0 earthquake in the United States? There are many dots to connect here. Go into a blog archives and go back to January of 2011 when... Uh, odd events began to take place in the New Madrid earthquake zone. And I also have videos on that too. American patriot and Fed uh, whistleblower John P. Wheeler, and I also have a video there too, on the day he died, had just been found murdered and dumped in a landfill in December 2010. Okay? They were cover it was covering up their trail, so they ki uh, killed poor John P. Wheeler. We learn after his death, which has not been mentioned in the media since, and after dead birds rained down on our heads in the central southern USA, that FEMA was in the midst of a huge preparedness exercise called FEMA NLE 2011. Uh, also known as FEMA Operation Solid Curtain, Google it, in which they were uh, focusing on disaster preparedness in the New Madrid Fault Zone. Okay, they definitely know what's going on, and all the activities that are going on in that zone. Let me tell you, people, they keep messing around, especially what messing around with. The government's messing around with uh, Israel's um, foreign policy. We're, we're really going to get it. And uh, the reports circulated that uh, FEMA was already purchasing MREs and other food-related supplies by the means of units. Clearly, the feds were rehearsing and stocking up and preparing for something. And, uh, and here's a video here um, of the report, so you can view this video. It's a minute and 20 seconds long. Anyway, it goes on to say that harps rings have been appearing over the New Madrid 
region of the United States daily in uh, obscene clusters. Citizen journalists like uh, YouTube reporter Aldo Sins can barely keep up with it all. Um, I've heard some things about Doug Sense, and I don't really recommend his channel at all um, because there's been like a lot of uh, strange activity and all that uh, he has in his channel and I wouldn't suggest really going there. Um, it has to do with strange frequencies and, uh, and it's part of I think it's like part of a conditioning. So I, this is all, that's all I have to say. It's just like a warning thing right now. But anyway, I'm sorry to get off track. Um, but just understand that these bizarre heart rings had to do with uh, superstorms, floods, and tornadoes. The fracking in the new uh, Madrid fault zone is causing uh, tap water to become flammable in regions in Texas and Illinois. Uh, and uh, see, and then something wicked is this way is coming, possibly. And um, so all we can do is just stay positive and um, stay away from the bad news and uh, just find out, you know, basically you know, what is, you know, going on as to finding alternative news and just keep up with some um, good websites like Carney Art and um, it says the odds is, is that uh, well, I'll just have you go read, read it, read the rest because I'm running out of time um, it ends by saying that pray for your countrymen and their families who live in these regions right now and send them your love, your light, and your faith. If the Fed is getting ready to try to disable the heartland, uh, we will find a way to persevere. And that's true. We will persevere through this. And so long as that we have God by our side, that we need to look up to heaven and uh, cry out to God in repentance because uh, we need him on our side and and he's the winning side and uh, it's not just we the people it's um, under God and through his son Jesus Christ who gave his life upon the cross uh, to save us from sin and God is watching everything right now and uh, America is under judgment so please people please consider you know turning back to God because we need to turn back to Him before it's too late um, time's short and we don't know if we have another day uh, this could be like our last breath and uh, don't ever lose faith, but cling to the Lord instead, and He'll get us through. And be immersed in, in His Word and talk to Jesus every day. And stay close to Him, and He'll get you through the storms. Okay, that's all I have to say right now, and I'm running out of time. So y'all take care. God bless you all. Stay safe. Jesus loves you, and you know, I love you too, because I'm writing this to you. Okay, bye-bye now.